Hi, in this video we are going to introduce the general form of for loops. So we've seen for loops before, but now we're going to look at the most general form. And the most general form of a for loop looks like this. We write for, and then we have some sort of initialization, then a semicolon, then we have some test, uh, and then a semicolon, and then we have some sort of increment. And so what's, what's happening is we, where we usually set up our variables, and then every time before the for loop, we see if some condition's true. And then after executing the body of the for loop, we, we make some change. So let's see what that looks like in a specific case. Um, here's our standard for loop uh, where we count uh, 0, 1, 2. So the initialization is setting i equal to 0. Then the test is seeing whether or not i is still less than 3. And then the increment is we say i plus plus. Okay. So the first program we're going to write now uh, will use the for loop in a slightly different way. And we are going to write a program that counts down from 10 all the way down to 0. So let's write that in our editor. So we say 4. And then we'll write var i equals 10. So we want to start out with i being equal to 10. And then we want to continue as long as i is greater than or equal to 0. So we're saying we're going to go from 10 and we're going to go as long as i is still greater than 0, greater than or equal to 0. And at the end of each uh, time around the loop, we say i minus minus. So i will go down by 1. And then we'll print line, oops, print line i, and we'll run that and see that we go from 10 all the way down to 0. Let's look at one more version of a different for loop. Now we're going to use a for loop to count by twos from 0 up until 100. So let's go and write this one in our code editor. So here we're going to say for var i equals 0. Then we're going to go i is less than or equal to 100. So we're going to go from 0 and we're going to keep going as long as i is less than or equal to 100. And each time after we're going to modify i by saying i plus equals 2. So it says take whatever i used to have and then increment it by 2. If we print line i here, and we run, we see we go from 0 to 468, all the way up to and including 100. 